start my life. Um, today, I will actually be doing my final wrap up um, video on the segment for uh, testing a high potency vitamin C serum. In this video, I will go ahead and go through the actual routine of how I utilize the product, as well as we'll share some of the things that I've learned through using this product for the last few weeks. Um, there were some mistakes made, which I'm hoping that you, after you watch this video, you do not make that mistake. And um, basically, I'll give you my final thoughts on it, as well as letting you know what is the product, which I may actually do right now. Anyhow, um, I haven't washed my face yet, so um, I'm gonna take a break and go ahead and wash it, but I will go ahead and show you the product that I will be using. This is my rice um, product. It's a very gentle cleanser, um, which is very key when you're using high potency vitamin C serum. Uh, you want to avoid anything that is too harsh, that exfoliates too much your skin because, um, you know, it is a high potency, um, products so that may actually cause some irritation if you use products that are too harsh so i found that the rice is the ideal product of to you know to go along with um this vitamin c serum so i will be going ahead and washing my face with this uh, typically what i do i just uh, put about um pea size um you know in my fingers i wet my face and then i just do my thing wash it and whatnot then i rinse and then I am going to go ahead and be using my famous, famous toner, which I am always raving about. It's my absolute favorite. And it also happens to be also the toner that, that goes with, um, with the facial cleanser, and uh, which is also the rice toner. And then I will go ahead and put on the vitamin C serum, which I will reveal after I've washed my face and when I'm actually going to go ahead and apply it. So stay tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I went ahead and uh, dampened my face and this is the amount of the cleanser that I will be putting on. Then I immediately start circular motion. Oh, this thing just smells great. Trust me, you will, guys will thank me for recommending this cleanser because it is the most wonderful cleanser that I have tried. And I mean, I, I do keep about three different cleansers to um one of them is of course kind of like a scrub which i also also love but when it comes to a um a creamy gentle cleanser this is definitely the way to go so what you can do too is that i like to introduce i've actually recently um started introducing uh, some massaging that i've learned about as i've done my research on skincare and i learned that massaging your face especially the jawline to do something like this i use my my um my finger my hands like this and then i use my thumbs to massage up kind of like from the chin up chin up right this and i actually found that this has been helping keeping some of the sagging um, that I'm starting to to get um, on on my you know my my jaw area here. So this is actually good. Now what I do is that if the product starts getting kind of dry and sticky, I I and I want to massage it a little bit longer. I go ahead and just dampen my hands a little bit more, and then I go right back at it. Now normally I will massage for about a minute, and then I will rinse off. So I'm gonna go ahead and run back to the bathroom, and I will be right back. So I'm back. I went ahead and rinsed my face. Now I'm going to get ready to put on my toner. Now I pat dry my face. Make sure that is make sure that it's nice and dry. Okay. And now I am going to go ahead and put my toner. Again, I recommend for you if you're using this toner to use the the flat cotton um, squares, which really are make it very easy for you to put your toner without um, eliminating waste, without you wasting too much product. One, two. I put about four or five drops of the toner. And again, I think I've showed you how this toner is um, designed that you, it literally stays in place. If you can see there, 
it doesn't completely soak the um, the cotton so it stays very um, focused on the center wherever it is that you put on oh, that feels nice and then you just I mean I put it under my eyes and it doesn't really do anything bad so okay then I put some on my neck now while the toner is still damp I will go ahead and put my vitamin um, C serum and dun, 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 dun. this is the product that I've been using it is again a high potency 20% and I will put at the bottom of the link uh, uh, the bottom of the video um, description I will put a link to all the products that I am using and basically it comes with a dropper and what I do is I fill it up like so hold on a second and I do about, I do five drops. They recommend to do about, you know, three drops. One, two, three, four. I do about five drops because I will also put some of this on my neck. So, and then I go circular motion, put it on your forehead, here, my nose. Rub it like so. And you will notice that if you do this um, when your face is still damp with your toner, and then I just pat it a little bit above the eye area, it doesn't, it doesn't do any harm. I mean, it actually, I noticed that it does um, take the brightness all the way up there. But anyhow, you will notice that if you um, put on the vitamin C serum um, almost immediately after you, um, you put on your toner, you will see that it, it's going to spread uh, much is is easier to apply, and that, that is very key because you don't want. You notice how this was very watery, and you know once you put it on your fingers and here, I mean, if you don't apply it, you know, kind of fast, it will dry it on you. So it's great if you have that um, that toner with your face is still damp because it does help you massage it um, a little bit longer without automatically drying drying up, which you know otherwise you will be wasting much you know, more product. But um, right now, uh, what I typically do is that I just let it sit for about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Now, when I first started using this product, I was getting, um, I got a little bit of flush and a little redness, pink, not red, red, but a little bit flush of my skin and you felt a little warmth. And, but then it went away. It wasn't unpleasant at all. It was, it was almost like you were sitting or you went out under the sun for a little bit and your face it gets a little bit warm. Um, but then that went away. Um, and um, it pretty much was very, uh, very fleeting. Literally goes away within just a few seconds. And it's not, and it's not even an unpleasant feeling. But going back to this, it's the SkinCeuticals. And it is, um, I believe it's a, it's a product from, uh, from South Korea. And a couple of things that I learned from using this product, like I said, I really like how my skin feels. And like I said, after the 15 minutes, when you start touching your skin, I mean, if I touch my skin right now, it's, it's uh, not sticky because this is very, very watery, but it's still, there's a little bit of, you know, it's not, it doesn't have that silkiness, smoothness feeling that, that eventually I get as, as, you know, as I wait for my 15 minutes to go through before I put on my, um, my, my emulsion, um, my collagen emulsion, which is going to give me some lifting and firming in my eye cream. But a couple of things that I can say about this product is that A, I really love the consistency. I love the smell. It has a very citrusy smell and it does work. And like I said, after the first day, um, if you put it morning, and night by the next day in the morning you will notice that you that you've woken up with your face feeling like very silky and smooth and you know it feels nice and and brighter and as you continue to use the product um you know it will it will continue to get even better now for me because everybody has a different skin for me ideally after testing this product for about three weeks what i noticed is that um, I was able to use it up, up until I think it was the fifth or sixth day or something like that. And then I made the mistake, as I mentioned before, of, uh, of doing a um, exfoliation. And then when I put the product, I had a little bit of a reaction where I got a couple of, you know, of zits that came on out, irritated and whatnot. So I had to stop using it. And I stopped using the product for about three, three to four days, something like that. And I used my quarks in between. 
and uh, my skin went back to normal. And also one of the things that I use uh, for the for the um, for the skin to uh, heal because of the exfoliation and the and the reaction that the high potency vitamin C serum had is to calm it. I actually use an aloe face sheet mask, and I have to say it worked beautifully. It really calmed my skin, and within a couple of days, my skin was back to normal. Um, so one advice would be uh, do not exfoliate at all when you're using this product. If you want to exfoliate, um, make sure that you at least take one day break from using the product and then you can do an exfoliation and follow it with a different serum. Do not go back to using this. So basically you do not use an exfoliator, um, you know, the day that you're going, that you've been using the vitamin C serum and you definitely do not want to follow it after an exfoliation. So you got to give your skin a break. So what I basically been doing is that I use this product for about three, four days. Then I switch to my coarse um, brightening serum or my hyaluric acid, which is a mizon. And I kind of go back and forth depending on how my skin feels. You know, after a while, you'll know what works for your skin and what doesn't. And you should really make sure that you take the time. You know, don't just put products on and just say like, okay, so-and-so say that it worked great. I'm just going to put it on and not do your due diligence. You know, just make sure that as you're putting these products on, um, you do look at your skin. You study it. You're like, okay, does it look better? Does it look worse? Is it exactly the same? Like, whatever. And then you need to change things up to, you know, or adjust things like I do. So, because basically what, I, what I've been doing is, like I said, I've been alternating. And I found that the best results really are when I use this product for about three days straight. Night, day, night, day, night, day. Then break, exfoliation, corks, or the hyaluric acid. And then, you know, use that for another three days. And then I go back to this because I do notice that this really gives me a nice brightening effect that is all around. And um, I even noticed that, you know, as I was applying my blur and my, and my BB cream um, slash foundation, that I didn't need to put, um, you know, as much. I mean, I already use very little. If you saw my Barely There makeup video, then you know that I don't, that I'm minimalist and I don't really like to wear a lot of makeup. That's why I spend more of my budget on skincare, trying to keep this skin looking, you know, youthful, fresh, clear, as naturally as possible without doing a lot of concealing and a lot of covering up. Because when you're putting all of those other things, all of those cosmetics, to cover, you know, your your blemishes and, and, and you know your imperfections. Sometimes that ends up clogging your pores, and it ex actually working against you. It makes your skin uh, break out. You have more buildup. You can have you can get more wrinkles and and things of that nature. So, if you follow a more um, I guess a skincare routine that takes care of nourishing and, and replenishing and uh, resurfacing and all of those things, which is what this does. This definitely does um, uh, kind of like, not a resurfacing, but it does do a peeling or a brightening um, uh, of, of your face, which is great for your freckles, for your age spots, especially for me since I am, you know, have my freckles and my age spots that are kind of converging together. But um, just a couple of things on this particular item, I definitely recommend it. Um, I make sure that you do not exfoliate. One of the things that you will notice about it, I used to bath five drops, I think, because I was going to put some on my neck as well. If you're just going to put it on your face, just do three to four drops, depending on, you know, the size of your face. But if you look at this, see how clear it is? It almost looks like the, um, the juice of a, of, a, of a lemon or a lime. After I did some research on, on, on the vitamin C serum, the high potency, I found out that there's a lot of them out there and some of them are not necessarily good for you. And one of the ways that you can find out if it's, a go if it's going to be a good serum is by looking at the color of it. Apparently when the vitamin C oxidizes, which is bad, because it's bad if you, if you use vitamin C serum that is oxidized. And the way that you can tell that it's oxidized is that it becomes dark. It gets kind of like an amber, uh, dark, brownish color. And um, that basically means it's too old, it's oxidized, it's not really going to do anything for your skin. It's actually going to hurt your skin. So one of the good, one of the, um, I guess, um, um, elements that you can do. One of the, the, the notes that you can make to yourself is make sure that it looks clear, that it's like this. 
not clear completely. There's some that may be super clear. I don't know what else they put in it, but this one looks really like the like the essence of or the juice of a of, of a lemon or a lime. But anyway, this is a very good um, vitamin C serum because, I, like I said, I, I I read a lot of reviews and I'm really happy with the results. And and after doing research and learning about them, the color consistency of this is actually ideal and and this is not very expensive either i think um if i'm not mistaken it's it's it's, it's under 30 dollars and this if you're only using four to five drops is really going to last you a while too now another thing that you need to know is that if for some reason you find that it's not working for you um it's either you're not using it properly and or um, you need to give it more time but one of the most important things is to make sure that you always um, study your face for me i'm always like i wake up in the morning and i look and i'm like oh okay this actually looks good um i try taking some pictures uh, hopefully I'll, I'll slide some in there um, in between the videos so you guys can see i don't know with the lighting if it's going to be as evident but you know to the naked eye to me when i'm looking at myself in the mirror i can tell the difference because like i said i study it and i make sure that i that i am monitoring that i am documenting um you know the effects of the product i mean uh, as a final thought or, or um, you know, observation is that there were many uh, people that said, oh, you know what, it was, it was magic, it cleared, they have before and after pictures of like, you know, a, a face with a lot of acne and then all of a sudden it's like model smooth. And I would say, be careful of those products that promise that your skin is going to miraculously, you know, look amazing after, you know, after just a couple of days or, or even some people even say after just one day, the next day you're going to be like this. So avoid those kind of, um, you know, products that give you those kind of promises because most of the times it's just a marketing ploy. I mean, the, 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 the reviews that I saw on this product, um, where, you know, this thing did not seem to be exaggerated. They, they seem to be pretty realistic. I saw a couple of pictures and I saw some kind of like, oh, okay, effects here. But I didn't see from like, you know, from the beauty to the beast, like skin that was really, really bad. All of a sudden it's really, really beautiful. But like I said, I have a lot of, um, lately, a lot of faith in, in Korean um, based skincare because they really, really um, care about their skin. And I mean, it's, it's a whole culture thing uh, to them. Um, the, the condition of your skin is more important than like, you know, if you're fat or skinny or if you're like, you know, if, if you're big bone or, or if you just don't, you know, don't have the perfect physique. For them, skin is like the most important thing. So that's something that they, that, that the culture itself um, you know, always promotes like beautiful skin. So that's why all of their products, if you see, you know, even if you see a lot of their celebrities in, in the, in the K-pop genre and everything, you're going to see that even the men have gorgeous skin. They're, it always looks flawless. So, um, I've been using this, um, Korean skincare products for, for a bit now. And I can say that actually my skin feels better than it's ever felt before and, and you know and that's something to say when you are almost you know you're going to be 50 in a couple of months so I'm definitely very happy about that now the other thing that I think I've been talking not probably for 15 minutes I hope not because I don't want this video to be too long um, but I am going to I, I feel that my skin has firmed up I this is my test I kind of run the the top of my of my of, of my fingers on it it feels really smooth and who knows maybe in the video you might have noticed that my head my, my face was getting brighter and brighter excuse me brighter but i'm gonna go ahead and in introduce the other products that i that i um recently started using um this is a lifting and firming it's called a lifting and firming collagen power lifting emulsion this is a brand that i have several products that i'm really happy with so um, it's very reasonably priced and, um, you know, and they're good quality products. Now, this um, is a glass jar, believe it or not. It's beautiful. I was like totally impressed, you know, because I was like, wow, it wasn't, it wasn't that expensive either. I, I bought more cleansers that cost more than this uh, emulsion firming um, lotion. So this is collagen. And basically what I'm going to do, see how small that amount is? And I think that that might be even too much, but... Then I rub it like this, and then 
I start with my laughing lines and then I move on to my forehead. And lift, lift, lift. It gets absorbed very quickly too, so. Okay, there you go. And I mean, it has a very, very, very faint essence, which almost feels like, almost smells like, just like clean. It's, I just get a, an, a, a feeling of a clean smell, but it's not perfumey at all. No perfume. It doesn't, it almost feels like it doesn't have an essence. But look how big this jar is. And you saw what I used, right? That little drop. Can you imagine how many of those size drops I can get out of this thing? And it, this thing doesn't expire until 2022. So technically speaking, I could use it for the next two years. Um, if, if, if it takes me two years to use a, a tiny little, little drop, which it is possible. I mean, you may also want to put some on your neck. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to put some on my neck since the product goes a long way. And I'm going to carry it back here for the lifting. So I'm patting again. So, okay, let's say I use two drops, one for my neck and one for my face. This is still going to last me like forever. It's going to last me for a while. And the next thing um, that I also talked about was eye creams and um, I've been promising and promising eye creams and I keep forgetting so today I did bring my eye cream this is my um, also a Maison cream It's made out of snail snail mucus I know my son gross no essence whatsoever it's pretty um, you know basic white as you can see this has lasted me a while too because you only need a little bit and what I do is I take this much and then I just put it right there. And then from there, I just kind of rub it circular motion. And then I just tap it under my eye. There you go. Now the other eye. Now I know that it may sound gross again because it's, um, I think snail mucus because, um, Apparently, um, snail mucus is, is a big thing in Korean um, skincare. I'm not sure the Japanese use it, but I know that it's big in, in Korea. And they even have uh, face masks, uh, all kinds of things too. And lotions, moisturizers, but I only used the eye cream. Because in the past, every time I used an eye cream, I would always get um, little breakouts under my eyes. And I think, I don't know, maybe that was... It was too rich and um, that's why I always hated using eye creams but um, I discovered this one and I'm really happy because I don't I don't I don't break out at all under my eyes and it actually gives me uh, a firming of the skin under my eyes which you know um, the eyes when you're aging you know even if you do take care of your skin they really are the indicators that, that you're getting old. <laughs> it's really hard, unless you go for surgery, which I'm not going to. But uh, at least this minimizes um, some of the puffiness in my eyes. And it also takes care of plumping some of the fine lines that, that I now have under my eyes. But, um, you know, and it works really well. And like I said, it's it, no essence. It's not irritating at all. And it's one of my favorites. I also have um, another one that I use uh, by Etude House. It's an eye cream. And that all, that one actually I keep in the refrigerator because um, that one is, is not as sticky. And um, when you keep it in the fridge and you put it on, it just feels so good under your eyes. So when I'm like woke up with my eyes really tired or like I just need an extra little pick me up, I will use that one so I, I kind of alternate but uh, so um, for the I mean lately I've been using a lot of this one because I really like um, how um, my eyes feel when when I put it on and also I've noticed that sometimes if I forget the eye cream the next morning when I wake up my eyes are a little bit puffy and I'm like oh wow I didn't I forgot my eye cream so I've been trying to make an effort to always remember to put my eye cream and this is typically the last thing that I will put on on my face but anyhow um, I know that this was supposed to be a vitamin C 
um, serum a wrap up and but I also decided to include the rest of my skincare routine so that you guys know what the steps are how to utilize the products um, to get the best results and and hopefully you have found this um, an informative video uh, please please uh, if you did find it informative um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up um, also if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please subscribe I really appreciate it um, and if you have subscribed well thank you for coming back for more information um, feel free to uh, message me contact me um, either instant, instant message me or write um, the comments on the videos themselves and uh, I will be more than happy to answer your questions now I should have a total of hopefully um, I think I ended up with about seven videos if I'm not mistaken but I was trying to record all of them first to then I can just start posting them in chronological order so um, today is the last um, you know like I said the last video of the segment um, in tr when I'm talking about testing um, the vitamin C serum uh, I think that if you feel that your skin um, you know, it's kind of like stagnating in whatever skincare product that you're using and nothing is happening or you've seen uh, an appearance of more wrinkles of, you know, you have acne that is being stubborn and that's not going away um, and, uh, you know, you're up, you know, for trying something new. I would definitely recommend this vitamin C serum. Um, again, high potency, I believe it's 20% skinceuticals. Um, and uh, if not that, if you don't want to try that, you definitely should try the Quark's uh, Brightening Serum and or the Mizon um, Hyaluric Acid one, which I believe that all of those are very good quality products. Uh, they're very affordable, very budget friendly, um, and, and they work, they, you know, but again, like I said, you have to know your skin. You make sure that when you are um, trying this new product you follow the right steps you're doing it the right way so that you get the right results because I mean I did see some people um, you know complaining that, that the, the vitamin C serum actually made their condition worse or it actually created a condition so that might have been that they did not use the product properly like for example what I did which was exfoliating when you really shouldn't exfoliate and also if even if they say yeah use the product every day and the longer that you use it the more beautiful your skin is going to get just make sure that you always look at your skin and say like oh okay you know the product is going well yes 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 and then you know what it might be like oh wow it stopped doing its job or it's just like maybe starting to cause problems then you know just lay back a little bit alternate to your other product it's kind of like giving your skin a rest it's like almost like exercising you know if you exercise too much then you tear your your muscles and there's no regrowth and or you might get injuries and things like that so then you have to take time off rest and then you know start again so i think that that's what um sometimes happens with your skin um i don't know if there's out there a product that you can use every single day the exact same brand the exact same line of products and your skin it's always going to look amazing um, you know I, I don't know if those products exist and maybe they do exist but maybe those are the ones that celebrities are using and they're paying you know like thousands of dollars for them you know if you're buying a product that is you know is either bought at a, at a drugstore or you're buying you know a product that is from a you know from just a a a, a regular name brand you know you might not get those results so don't be discouraged just you know keep on um, if you know I, I think that the secret that I can share is like if you buy a product and it works great for the first couple of days but then afterwards you start seeing like hmm something starting to happen you know whatever you know don't just go ahead and throw it away just like you know what let's put it aside use whatever else you had as your secondary whatever you were using before or go find a new one and then use that one and then flip back to the other one like go back to it and revisit it because hey if I can use a product that for three days in a row can give me glowing beautiful skin I'll take it and then when it doesn't do it you know when it's not doing that anymore I'll just switch back to the other one and I mean I don't I don't think that that's a big deal or a big effort you know all you got to do is look at your skin and be able to, to determine okay is it ready for this product now it's ready for the other one and and that should you know I think give you a well um, balanced skincare um, as long as you're following your routine of 
cleansing, toning, adding some type of serum, depending on your age. You know, if you're a young, you know, person, you know, you obviously probably your, your, your main concern might be uh, blemishes, keeping blemishes at bay. So you might want to use a serum that is kind of like a blemish fighting, um, you know, product. If you're someone that is, you know, late 20s, early 30s, and you're starting to see a couple of wrinkles here and there and whatever, then you want to use a serum that has some anti-aging benefits, you know, could be hyaluric acid, it could be um, collagen, um, vitamin C as well. So, um, and then just play from there. But, you know, other than that, I think that um, I may be rambling. I'm sorry. But anyhow, now I'm going to go ahead and put on, uh, I guess, my, my makeup as I'm heading out. And uh, um, I guess I'll see you next time. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Um, have a wonderful day and again please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and all the other ones that are part of the series and once again I thank you for your support and the links to the products are all definitely going to be under the video description thank you again have a great day